Yeah, you, it's yeah. You you just in there for the investigation right now, buddy. So for right now, um, do not log off. And uh, well, I mean, if you gotta do shit, that's fine. Log off. But for the time being, do not drive. And uh, for right now, just uh, do ride-alongs until further notice. Because I don't know whether if if if, if I should just go ahead and get rid of you at this point. Because it just seems like that you just do not listen. You just feel like that you just do your own damn thing. And, you, you know, like, yeah. Hold on, hold on, matter of fact. Just hold on, man. Just hold on. Yeah. Can I speak? Yeah, go for it. Am I able to speak? Yes, sir. Um, very well, very well. Um, it seems a lot of times um, when most of you do something, when most of you in the United States do something wrong, I see it, but then again, I don't even say anything because I don't want to get someone else in trouble because I don't want to be on a, best, a person black book. And that aside, I've seen a couple of officers, even when they were below me, and even in this same rank with me, they did a lot of things. I had, I had to report to chief because I don't know if you guys are really biased about this thing. You guys didn't even do anything about them. When it comes to me, every little mistake I did because I was lagging, it is a big crime to everyone. When you people do same mistake, you guys are, you guys are. Oh, I even brought a camera. The other time, my brother came to chief, showing if an officer disrespecting me as a vested officer, and because of that, I was even turned down. I was even the one to be blamed for everything. Why do I always get blamed for most of everything, even when I even complain or just give my Superior reports. I mean, you guys have been we are um, um, racist about this, and um, this is not the way the game should be. So, for due respect. Well, sir, I'm just going to say this: is that. We have the body cam footage of what you did. I'm not going to lie. I've caught you a few times and let it go. There's been times where I've also let you slide on multiple occasions and let in give you the slap on the hand on multiple occasions and multiple situations and multiple warnings and everything. I mean, like, <laughs> I'm not even going to go ahead and play this childish game with you on this level because, honestly, it just sounds like they, it, like, in other words, he, you're trying to get another way, leeway out, and I'm not feeling that. And not just only that, everybody gets the same treatment. Not just you. You're not the only one. Everybody gets the same damn treatment, and regardless of the fact, you know. But, yeah, you're right. There are two sides of the story. Now, let me ask you this. Was your body cam running right at that moment? When you were getting talked to over when you were, well, when that situation that I'm talking about as we speak of, was your body cam running? Let me ask you that question. Um, my body cam was not running because my phone gets laggy. When I put on my body cam for so long, my phone gets laggy and then it starts generating so much it and i can't even play the game so what is the point of me putting it on except when i get except when i want to make an arrest or a traffic stop that is when i put it on and right away i put it off because my phone gets laggy and come to think of it i wasn't even speeding i might might have hit a lot of um 
pose. I might it, I might have it pose because I was laggy, but wasn't running more than hundred. I was going my speed limit. Also, yes, I run some red lights. Shut me off. But that is my mistake. I wasn't speeding. I ran some red light because I was lagging and I was going the other way. I was trying to get back quickly so my mission could be successful and I don't have to repeat again. But it happens to me a lot of times. When I go for missions once, twice, the third time I start lagging and right away the games just shut off and there it is, I lost on that mission and I have to come back and redo missions again. See, that's what I'm talking about. Right there. Right there. <laughs> and, and you know, and you know what? I knew that your body cam wasn't on. Because honestly, we, we didn't have this conversation before, too. And I told you what to do on this level whenever you have this situation, right? Okay, and I, I also told this to every single person on top of that, too. Listen, okay, right. <laughs> Listen here, right? I've simply told every single officer in here that does not know how to be able to get uh, uh, to to be able to record or to be able to have a certain thing. <laughs> Don't you interrupt me because that is gonna piss me off even more. And then this will end it right here, right here, right now. Do not interrupt me while I'm talking. Do not do that. Do not do that. Because for one, you're already in a shit in a hot seat as it is already, bud. Because one, your body cam wasn't rolling by the time when you left out of PD. That's an automatic rule right there. That's automatic that you're supposed to do every single time. I have to interrupt before. you because I cannot hear you. It's raining and I cannot hear you. If you can hear it, it's raining. I cannot hear you. So that is why I have to interrupt you. That is what I wanted to tell you. Can't hear you, it's raining. You can type that. You could have typed it. You could have typed it. Literally. Literally. Everybody else does. Everybody else. I mean, what you, you see you see everybody else using the chat. You could do that. It's not it's not that it's not that bad. I can still look down and look down and look at the screen. And see you use the chat and still communicate through that. Now, let me ask you, can you hear me? Because at this point, I'm looking my lady up. I can hear you, hear you as a part. I'm taking my ears again. You know what, Terry? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. but I'm gonna have to let you go. I I'm sorry, bud. Lord Barry, or one of y'all, put him in cuffs and uh, get him ready to go all the way downstairs. I'm not dealing with this. The disrespect and everything else like that, like I feel very disrespected. Not just only that, the, the rules break broken and everything else like that. We didn't already have this conversation multiple times. I'm not going into this no more. I didn't do anything. I was trying to tell you the wind was disturbing me. So what did I do wrong there? Mr. Terry, it was good to have you. It was good to have you as an officer. You need a little bit more work. I'll tell you what, you got a five day, maybe six day grace period, be able to go ahead and come right back if you want to go ahead and start all over. That's not a problem. 
But other than that, my man, we we can't have this. And especially with, with certain rules that are supposed to be mandatorily followed, can't have that either. And especially when it comes to situations like this, to be able to cover your ass and you don't have nothing to be able to backtrack upon that, I can't do anything upon that besides go with what I already have. So in other words, sir, I hope I wish you the best. I'm sorry that it had to go like this. But at the end of the day, we can't go ahead and go and continue on no no further. Have a great day. Send them downstairs. Right. Send them downstairs. All right, you have to do what you have got to do.